In this video, I'll show you how you can create a backup of Google Calendar events to Google Drive automatically. So the idea here is any event is created into Google Calendar application, a file will be created automatically into the Google Drive and the event details will be added automatically without doing anything manually. Yes, it is possible. Simply set an automation in between these application and after that, every time an event is created here, get the details added of that event inside google docs or you can say inside google drive application automatically if you also want to back up your google calendar events into google drive come with me and i will show you how you can set up this automation for yourself so this is my google calendar and here i'm going to create an event in front of you and you will see how a file will be created automatically and the event details will be saved automatically but before that i'll have to build a connection in between these application and i'm going to do that with the help of pabli connect it is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your task. And you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link into my description box. Now, if you are a new user of Pabli Connect, you will have to sign up for free, where you will also get free tasks every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation. Well, I'm already an existing user of Pabli Connect, so that is why I have clicked on sign in first, then clicked on Pabli Connect access now. And this is how I have reached to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And after reaching here, you will have to click on this blue button that is create workflow and after cre after clicking on this button simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i'm going to provide the name something like when event is created in google calendar auto create file in drive okay now click on create and after that you will find two boxes in front of you. So these are actually trigger and action. So trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So whenever this happens, do this. Understand with an example also, whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application, let's say send an email via Gmail application. And here, according to our use case, whenever any event is created into the Google Calendar application, automatically create a file into the Google Drive and save the event details automatically into Google, basically into the Google Docs application. Okay, so this is how you need to always select the applications in which which you are building an automation and here I am building an automation in between Google Calendar and Google Drive so that is why I have selected these two application so I am going to do the setup of this Google Drive later so let's first set up this Google Calendar so the idea here is I am going to connect to my Google Calendar with the Pabli Connect so that firstly I can capture all the event details basically new event details here inside Pabli Connect and then I am going to I am going to send the same details to different applications or to the Google Drive application. All right, so I have selected this trigger even now simply click on this connect button, click on add a new connection and simply provide the access of your account in which you are about to create the events. All right, so I have provided the access and simply click on continue and this is how the authorization will be successful and your Google Calendar will be connected with the Pabli Connect. Now from here, whatever the calendars are created inside your Google Calendar application or all those calendars are visible here and I am going to create the events inside this Pabli Connect calendar. So that is why I am going to select that particular calendar. Now, as soon as I am going to click on this button, you will see how it will capture. Basically, Pabli Connect will capture all the event details, the most recent event details, which I have created inside my Google Calendar. Okay, so right in front of you, I am going to create a new event and assume that uh, an event is about to happen on 4th of March. March, that is Saturday and I am going to provide a title something like launch of new design okay and this is going to be an event not a task the date will be the same if you would like to add a timing so let's add the timing as well and how about uh, our event is going to happen assume that on the 7 p.m only and 7 p.m to 9 p.m okay for two hours this event is going to happen for the two hours okay does not repeat yes it will be selected like this only add a guest well i will be leaving this particular thing blank add a location so yes i would like to provide a 
a location of this particular event okay so assume that i am going to organize this event at this particular location so i have provided the same asking for the description so here i will be added the description of few lines that we are about to do a launch okay launch of our new dress design so i have also provided the description here okay to do a launch for r it should be r all right and any other details so how about i also add an attachment so how about i add a sample image of my event of my design okay so this is the image i have provided the same and i think i have provided all the necessary details now i will be clicking on save and after saving this particular event i will click on this button save and send test request and you will see how pably connect will capture the details of that most recent uh, event okay here you can see the summary is here we even have the start date and time that is 4th of march and let me show you other details that is the location we even have the display name where are the other details all right so we even have the description of our task basically of our event okay so this is how i have captured i was i was able to capture all the details of the event and we even have the attachment link i'll have to find where is that link okay here you can see attachment file url let me open this particular url into a new tab so that i can check whether it is the same design or not and yes it is the same design okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation is successful which was connecting google calendar and pably connect and capturing the data here now i am going to send these details to google drive okay so i have already selected the application name this time i am going to choose the action event as a create a file in a specific folder because i have already created a folder here with the name all event details and i I want every time a new event is created into my Google Calendar, a new file should be created in respect to that particular event. Okay, so that is why I have selected this particular action event that is create a file in a specific folder. Okay, simply click on connect, click on add new connection and sign in with Google. Well, I have already connected my account earlier previously, so I will go with the existing connection only. But make sure if you are connecting it for the first time, you will have to go. With the new connections only okay now it is asking to select the folder so here you can see whatever the folders are available inside my pably connect account i'm sorry for that inside my google drive account have started visible here okay and i have created the folder with the name all event details okay so which has got selected automatically asking that what should be the file name which we are about to create so how about we create the file name with the help of these details and don't worry i don't need to manually copy these details and paste it here if you'll click on this particular field you will find the above data here in the drop down and i am going to map this launch of new dress as a file name okay launch of new new design as a file name and you must be thinking that what is this mapping why i have mapped this detail instead of providing any value manually so basically whatever the details you are going to map here will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time that is why i have specifically mapped the value and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation okay file type will of course i would like to create a document a file so i have selected the same clicking on save and send test request and you will see how a blank document with this particular name with this launch of new design name will be created inside my folder and here you can see the document has been created automatically as soon as i have clicked on the button okay now uh, moving further i am going to update all the details basically all the event details inside this particular google drive for that you'll have to click on this plus icon once again and again search for the google drive here and this time in the action event we are going to choose some different action event something like update content in a file because i would like to update the content basically update the event details inside a specific file so i i have selected this particular action event and again i'll go with the existing connection only clicking on save and this is how again the drive will be connected with the pably connect now i it is asking to choose a file so instead of selecting this file from the drop down again i am going to map it okay for mapping you will have to first enable this map 
tapping button okay and here you can see it is showing the id of that particular file so firstly i am going to remove the manual one and then i am going to map the id of the folder of the file which i have created just now with the help of automation okay so here you can see i have created a file just now and i am going to map the id of this particular file all right so i have mapped it successfully finally it is asking for the content which you would like to update okay so here firstly i am going to add summary and here i will map the summary of our event this is going to be launch of new design okay then i will add the date and time of event okay so what will happen every time any event is created the details which i am writing here manually will be same and the values will be replaced automatically with every new event okay so date and time of the event so how about i search for the start date and time or i can also write it as the start date and time of the event secondly i would also like to save the location of the event if any so yes in this particular event i have also added the location so i am going to add the same and uh, instead of that i would also like to update the description so let me again search for the description in the same way or he okay here we have the description of that event and do i need to add any other details okay let us check it and yes we are forgetting the attachment link okay which is the most important thing attachment link okay so here i will be attaching that url which i have received from my google calendar event step okay so i think i have mapped all the important details of my event now right after clicking on this button you will see how these details will be updated automatically inside this particular google drive okay so this is how you can save the details of your event automatically into the google doc file as soon as any event is created inside google calendar uh, event google calendar application and this automation is going to work in every 10 minutes because this trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes so what will happen every time you create a new event here pably connect will come to google calendar and will check for the new data in every 10 minutes so just in case your data is not getting updated in real time immediately don't worry don't get bother because it will surely be updated automatically you will have to wait patiently for at least 10 minutes okay so in order to automate your process you just need to create this automation inside pably connect once after that simply close pably connect sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually just in case if you want to access this automation i will also attach the shareable link of my workflow into the description box so if you will click on this link and sign up into the pably connect you will be able to access this automation inside your pably connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video